Hey there everyone and welcome to this tutorial on the feature Arena Picker and Arena Selector from the plugin Mercedes Bedwars. What is this, you might ask? Well, this is a system which allows you to pick certain arenas, for example in the Arena GUI or select certain arenas which you want to join into. The difference is Arena Picker is mostly used in the Arena GUI where it picks arenas that have a certain argument to them. So for example, you can display in one category all of the teams which have only one player per team. For example, like you see here, those two beautiful villagers are linked to the Arena GUI feature from this plugin. And I, for example, go here into the solo arenas. By the way, the arenas GUI configuration this video will follow up very, very soon. So stay tuned. So like you see here, this is the arena picker function. And what this means is that here into solo arenas on this list, every arena is displayed that has one player per team. So solo arenas. And here in double arenas, here is displayed every arena that has two players per team. The same with trios and for quad. So now let me just quickly show you how it is looks in the config. Then I'm gonna go to you to the website and take a look how it looks over there. So for that, we first go into the embedwars plugin folder, then arenas GUI layout, and let's go into here solo. We scroll down. And you see here, this is the section where all of those arenas are displayed. So like you see here, for example, the type is arena collection. And what this means is when you set the condition players per team equals one, this means that every single arena will be displayed. It doesn't matter how many teams there are inside. It will just pick arenas which have one player per team. But if you want to be more specific, you can add another argument. For example, let's now go into the website. So if you want to know how you can get to this website, first you go here to the embed or spigot page, scroll down, click on the wiki button. And on the left hand side, you see here arena picker. And now we are here on the website and here everything is displayed. Everything is shown. It's pretty straightforward and it's really super easy to understand. Once you understand it and you are a creative person, you can create so many different arguments and it's just really insane what you can do with this. So also here you can see for the arena picker, this means it will pick specific arenas which have those arguments and here those uh, the logical ways that you can use to compare two things other than equal. I will show you in a bit what this means. But if for example over here we want to display arenas which have some certain arguments like you see here players per team is one. You have for example on your server arenas where there is for example eight teams and one player inside or four teams and one player inside but you don't want them to be displayed together, you want them to be displayed separately, then you can do it like this. On the website, you see here this variable, teams, the amount of the existing teams, go back in the config, and now here in the two half stops at the top, you put in us open bracket, write the argument, then you follow this up with an end symbol, you type in teams is equal to 4. So what this means that this will now pick every arena in the GUI that has one player in the team and four teams. So if we go now back in and type in bw reload. So obviously nothing happened because I have here only 4 times 1 arenas. But if now for example type in 8 or so and then reload the plugin. You see here, none of them are displayed. Why? This means I don't have a eight times one arena right now, but if we just, if we just quickly, for example, yeah, let's take this one. 
and let's put in more teams yeah, and you see here well the arena is disabled right now the plugin sees the arena that it has eight teams in them this is very very useful with those different arguments because it, you can just modify it to the way you really really like it like this is just insane the amount of customization that you can make here this is really super useful really awesome to use and no other plugin definitely has this so the, the same could be also done for example like i said here elements execute command and then here bw join best the best arena that has the lobby status and players per team one so this is how you create the command if you want for example debug arena picker you can do this easily so this is really useful if you are creating an arena picker and you're not really sure if it is working you can simply do this by doing the following first you for example take one or two arguments in my case i'm gonna take in-game players and the status the status is also displayed over here this is now you could say the arena selector you do this first bw and for the debugging type bw debug maybe i will do a video with this in the future so you see here embed wars debug 2 and then the arena picker so let's just do 2 and then you put in the percent symbol then you type in best open this bracket type in status is equal to 2 so this means it has to be the lobby state if you put an equal so this means that it will not look at any other arena except the arenas that are in the lobby state you type in now the end symbol and do players per team is equal to 1 close the bracket hit enter and yeah if you did something wrong it tells you what you have to do in my case i forgot to put in the end sign at the end now you hit enter and it says success arenas found and then it will list every arena that is in the lobby state and has players per team equal to one and now for example if you wanna do something like for example let's say teams you can also check again the arguments on the page you hit enter it still says success but no arenas were found so this means that also this arena picker is working but it will not do anything because it cannot find the specific arenas so this now you could say is the arena selector because with this command you are selecting specific type of arenas that you wanna join so and if we put this now into praxis bw join percent best open open bracket status equals to and players per team equals one close the bracket percent sign you hit enter and you see it's working and you can bind also those commands like for example in the gy here that i did with instant join it is like this pw join percent random open bracket status equals two so this means lobby status close the bracket percent hit enter and now you will join into any random arena that has the lobby state this is super cool super unique and just mind-blowingly fantastic what you can do with this feature the the filtration in the arenas gui is just insane what you can do with this like like you see how i created them that there will be only displayed arenas that have one player in the team so solo arenas you can just filter it out to whatever you like seriously the filtering you could, you could say that this feature is more of an arena filter so that it will be easier for players to click on an npc and join the specific arena they really want to join instead of going to a gui and just select the specific arena they want to join you can just create such a command and they will just instantly get teleport to the desired arena it's just really cool really fantastic and definitely no other plugin has this 
you can also for example make it like uh, a player will join into a arena that already has for example one player inside so they do not have to wait for another player to join the argument is just the same bw join best you can type in status or arena however you want but you just type in in the follow-up in-game players equals let's say one or two and then you see here well it says there is no name but this means that there is no arena available for this how you can check bw debug 2 and you see here success but no arenas were found if you now for example go into a lobby you type it in again and it found an arena which has one player inside i mean do i need to speak more this plugin is definitely worth the money and i would not look into any other plugin because mercedes pedos is just so advanced so unique that if i would go now and review the whole entire plugin it would definitely take me three hours to do it so that's why i'm trying to put it into separate videos to make it like quicker and for the people that wanna see specific features that they would not have to scroll through a video to find what they are looking for so yeah but this is it for this uh, feature if you have any other question feel free to join on the support discord or ask me in the comment section down below thank you guys for watching and see you in the next tutorial peace out